they took counsel. How to put him to death. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. April 1st, 2023, Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 11, verses 45 to 56. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, What are we to do? For this man performs many signs if we let him go on thus, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is expedient for you that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation should not perish. He did not say this of his own accord. But being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the children of God, who are scattered abroad. So from that day on, they took counsel how to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer went about openly among the Jews, but went from there to the country near the wilderness, to a town called Ephraim, and there he stayed with the disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and saying to one another as they stood in the temple, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord Let us pray and meditate on this gospel passage. Do you allow fear or opposition to hold you back from doing God's will? Jesus set his face like flint toward Jerusalem, knowing full well what awaited him there. It was Jewish belief that when the high priest asked for God's counsel for the nation, God spoke through him. What dramatic irony that Caiaphas prophesied that Jesus must die for the nation. The prophet Ezekiel announced that God would establish one people, one land, one prince, and one sanctuary forever. The passion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the hope of glory and a lesson in patience. He loved us so much that sinless himself he suffered for us sinners, the punishment we deserve for our sins. How then can he fail to give us the reward we deserve for our righteousness? For he is the source of righteousness. The way to glory and victory for us is through the cross of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to take up your cross and follow Christ in his way of victory? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today.
prayer. Lord Jesus. May we your disciples. Be ever ready to lay down our lives. In conformity to your will. To willingly suffer and die for you. That we may also share in your victory and glory. Amen.